Both of these women are battling. This is the battle for the third place Olympic spot. Every Olympic trials has some sort of surprise. There's some sort of shock, someone who no one saw coming. With Erin Jackson, you see on the inner lane, the right side of your screen, She's been skating very well, but she's only been a long track for four months. No one could have predicted that she'd be dropping a second per week. It's crazy. She went to Salt Lake to, to train in February of 2017 and left after a few weeks, then returned at the end of the summer to train on ice. Sugar Todd in fourth place, already a disappointment in the thousand. And now in fourth place, to the about start. the worst place to be here at the Olympic trials after the first round, hoping to improve. Jackson, Todd, final spot on the team, most likely. Ready. Looks like Todd was a little slow coming off the line. She did, she looks a little tense to me. Todd is a fantastic opener. She is usually very good on the opener. 10.775, both skaters getting exactly equal laps, or exactly equal 100 meter openers. The battle is on, down the back straightaway. Jackson and Todd. The advantage is for Todd, she's got the chase, but Jackson's still improving. I think she's getting better every single race. Out of the turn, here's the home straightaway. Jackson and Todd, Jackson and Todd coming together to the line. Jackson edging ahead to win the pair and guaranteeing a spot on the U.S. Olympic 500-meter team, the first black woman to qualify for a U.S. Olympic long track speed skating spot. History made here in Milwaukee tonight. She is just improving with every Time she hits the ice. Tom, there, there is no telling how fast this woman can be. She has another month to the Olympics. I think I saw today is the one month anniversary. That means she's got 25% more time <laughs> uh, experience that she's gonna be getting over the next uh, four weeks. Not only that, she's gonna be able to skate now on the national team, train with Heather Bergsma, with Brittany Bow, who are the two best inline speed skaters on the women's side to cross over to the long track ice skating. Looking at this backstretch, there, there's so much that can still be proved. She's got so much power and so much pressure that she's always pushing. You see how she puts that foot down, it almost looks like it moves in slow motion when it hits the ice. That's because she's pushing hard against her body weight. But she's only getting, I would say, about 80% of her total push length. If she can lengthen out those strides just a bit more, she will continue to improve. Well, she's already taken five tenths off her personal from last week. Last week, she took a second off her personal from the week before. I, it's, an, it's awesome to see. Well, consider this. Coming to the arena today, she had no chance to be on the Olympic team. She hadn't made the Olympic qualifying time. Not only did she get that in her first run, here she improves. She's on the U.S. Olympic team. It has been uh, a day to remember for Aaron Jackson. Online.